The UN says military commanders in Myanmar should be prosecuted for genocide against the Rohingya. Following their recent fact-finding mission on Myanmar, three investigators presented their report in Geneva on Monday. Included among the findings that Myanmar's armed forces, also known as the Tatmadaw, took action that in the words of the UN investigators undoubtedly amount to the gravest crimes under international law. The mission has concluded that criminal investigation and prosecution is warranted, focusing on the top Tatmadaw generals in relation to the three categories of crimes under international law, genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. After attacks by Rohingya gunmen in Rakhine State a year ago, government forces began a crackdown against the Rohingya. The UN says reports of up to 10,000 Rohingya killed are a conservative estimate. Around three quarters of a million of the Muslim minority fled to neighboring Bangladesh. Many live here in Kutupalong camp, the largest refugee settlement in the world. The report from UN investigators includes accounts of numerous atrocities, including gang rape, enslavement, and the killing of children. The Rohingya, who are among the most persecuted minorities in the world, have faced decades of persecution. And sadly, they've grown accustomed to the international community, ignoring their plight. Reacting to the investigators' findings, Rohingya rights activist Shekufa says she's cautiously optimistic but wants action. It's been a year now since we fed Rakhine. So many international organizations have come here, but we haven't seen any solutions. All of us Rohingya women have been wondering how much time we will have to live inside a refugee camp. That's one of the reasons so many women went out to demonstrate on Saturday. Those large protests show the Rohingya are growing tired of waiting for the world to act. They mourned the first year anniversary of the beginning of the violence in Rakhine State, or as the Rohingya demonstrators called it, Genocide Remembrance Day. As chairman of the Arakan Rohingya Society for Peace and Human Rights, Muhibullah has been working for months to document crimes against the Rohingya. He's not at all surprised by what the UN fact-finding mission reported. The genocide against us has been going on systematically for 30 years and the world didn't know. Now the UN fact-finding mission has allowed the world to know with their work. So we're hoping that this will be a lesson to the world. So no other countries go through what we went through. This is why we're working for justice. Muhibullah says the Rohingya will continue to demand justice, even though justice isn't likely to be delivered soon. Mohammed Jamjum Al Jazeera at the Kutupalong refugee camp in Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh.